Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anne. Thank you for tuning in. So for today, I'm going to show you guys how to create this glass skin look for people with oily combination skin and if you are dealing with textured skin as well as enlarged pores, this is the perfect tutorial for you to watch. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell below, like the video, and comment if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions on what other videos you'd like to see. So if you're interested, keep on watching. Let's get started. So you want to start with a clean, fresh complexion. Make sure that you moisturize your skin really well. Put your eye cream, serum, and everything. After that, I'm, I already applied my primer, which is from YSL. This is the Instant Matte Pore Refiner. I, I apply like a pearl size amount all over my T-zone, focusing on the areas of my face that have enlarged pores. And then we're gonna move on to foundation. So for foundation, I chose the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiance perfecting foundation and the reason why I chose uh, this foundation this is more of a natural finish we're gonna use more powders later on in this tutorial so you don't want to do a lot of matte products on your skin even if you have an oilier complexion because it's gonna make the skin look too cakey and too crusty so you want a good balance between your textures or your um yes the texture or the formula of your products so you want a good balance between natural and matte so to apply this foundation i'm just going to use a beauty blender all right so i'm going to dot the foundation on my skin i did about two to three pumps of this foundation because the the dispenser of this foundation doesn't really bring out a lot of, or it doesn't really dispense a lot of product. And then I'm going to follow up with my Beauty Blender. So most of the product, I concentrated on the center of my face and then I work my way out. Once you're happy with the coverage and blend of your foundation, you want to move on to concealer. So the foundation that I did use has medium coverage, so it was able to cover pretty much most of my blemishes and most of the areas of my face that I want more blurred out. So I'm just going to do concealer to brighten underneath my eyes. I'm going to use the Born This Way Too Faced Concealer. And this is in shade porcelain. I'm gonna apply the back of my hand and apply it right underneath my eyes, like so. And then I'm gonna blend that out with a beauty blender. So I did add a little bit of concealer in the corners of my mouth and also on my forehead just to brighten those areas a little bit. Before I move on to my powders, I want to apply a hydrating mist on my skin. This is the Algenous Splash Hydrating Mist. So I'm just going to spray that all over my face. And then I'm going to fan it with my fan right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually sandwich the setting spray, the hydrating setting spray. It has to be a hydrating one. So we have to sandwich that in between our powders, foundation, bronzers, and such so that all the powders that we applied will melt on the skin. I'm going to set my face with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. My shade is medium. I'm going to use this Jaclyn Hill powder brush. So this is a dense brush. 
so that it will pick up just the right amount of product. I'm gonna tap that all over my skin. So I'm gonna show you guys how the powder looks like. So as you can see, you can still see a natural radiance from my skin, but we did set the whole face with powder. This is one of my most favorite powders because it just melts onto the skin. It actually blurs the pores. It doesn't accentuate any fine lines if you do have any. And it's really good for just buffing the skin and making make it look creamy and even toned. Um, it only comes with three colors, but they do suit most skin types and um, if you would like to use this product you want to use a brush that is um, just fluffy enough like the Jaclyn Hill that I used earlier so that um, you are just picking up the right amount of product and you're not overly applying it so after this we're gonna set the face with the hydrating mist again And then I'm going to let that dry with my fan. Now for my favorite part, we're going to use the Becca Be A Light Palette. And this is in the shade Light to Medium. This is one of my favorite products to use to achieve a glass skin look for oilier skin types. So I'm going to first start off by applying this under eye brightener right here on this side i'm gonna use a morphe highlight brush like this and tap it underneath my eyes okay for bronzer i'm gonna use the bronzer in the palette right here and i'm gonna use a flat powder brush from morphe so you want to pick up some of the product and we're going to tap it on the outer perimeters of our face. So right here and also right on the temple and jawline. Okay, so I'm happy with the way the complexion looks. Now it's time for blush. So I'm going to use a matte blush this time. So all the rest of the powders that we use do have a radiant finish to them. So for the blush, I'm going to use the Kylie Press Powder Blush in the shade we're going shopping. It's like this. It's like a beach color. So this one doesn't have any radiance to it at all. So we're going to just grab a fluffy brush or no, not a fluffy brush, but this is a blush brush, angled blush brush. And I'm going to tap that on my cheek, overlapping it a little bit with the bronzer. So you just want to tap it ever so lightly, like so. Alrighty, so once we're done with the blush, we're going to apply this blush topper right here. You can actually use this by itself, but I find that it looks better on top of a blush. So I'm just going to apply this right here on top of the blush we used earlier. Like so. Okay, so we're going to mist the face again. And dry okay so this is the most important step for the whole look so grab the beauty blender that we've used earlier and you want to tap it all over the whole complexion so just like so this is going to ensure that everything is blended nicely Everything sits on the skin nice.
Okay, once we're done with that, you wanna grab a small brush that's like a highlight brush. This is from Inglot. This is the number 4SS brush. So this brush, you wanna use that to apply this shade, this product right here. Now this product is the blur product. Yes, they call it the blur powder. So the blur powder, we're gonna apply it all over the skin. And grab some of that and then I'm gonna start right here on the jawline working my way up so this is the buffing technique you want to do this one to really marry all of the complexion products together and smaller brush is your best option because it just buffs everything so perfectly. And you can see that after doing this, you will definitely notice that all of your bronzers, blushes that you use just blends nicer, looks smoother. Alright, so I want to show you guys the finished look so that you can see more up close what the complexion looks like. So every time I wear this technique or I do this technique on my skin, I get compliments all the time on how my skin looks so dewy, smooth, yet there's not a lot of glitter or highlight products that you can really detect from the skin. So using products that are radiant, more natural finish, definitely does the trick. Definitely my Becca Bialite is one of, I guess, my most favorite products to use to achieve this look. And the best part is it doesn't work against your oily complexion because you're setting all of the liquid products in skin, you know, keeping the oil at bay. Okay, so this is the finished look for the skin. It's really natural, very photogenic, makes the skin look nice and smooth. I did a different, like I did a, an eye tutorial on a different video as well as a lip tutorial. Make sure you guys watch that. I'm gonna link it down below so you guys can see them. And if you have any requests on videos, any questions, things like that, make sure you comment below. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!